filling out this table should allow us to consolidate a large amount of information into something a little more usable. Keep in mind the quantum host hell story as we fill this out. You'll be able to draw some parallels along the way. Energy level one has one sublevel, and it's S. The S sublevel has one orbital. Energy level two has two sublevels. It's S and P. And once again, S has one orbital, and P has three orbitals. Energy level three has three sublevels. They're S, P, and D. S has one orbital, P has three orbitals, and D has five orbitals. Energy level four has four sublevels. They're S, P, D, and F. The S sublevel has one orbital. The P sublevel has three orbitals. The D sublevel has five orbitals. And the F sublevel has seven orbitals. Now let's take a look at some of the orbital shapes. Here's the S sublevel, there's one orbital. Here's the P sublevel, it has three orbitals. Here is the D sublevel, it has five orbitals. And the F sublevel has seven orbitals. The orbital, that's simply a region of space where the electron is likely to be found. Now you, you may notice that energy level one has an S sublevel and energy level two has an S sublevel. The difference between one S and two S is simply the size. The nucleus is in the middle and all these red dots just illustrate a composite picture of where the electron is likely to be found. We should also point out that these p orbitals exist on top of one another. They're superimposed on top of one another. So the nucleus would be in the middle and the three p orbitals would overlap. So these shapes should give you a good idea of what the orbitals look like.